Hi and welcome back. So just to recap where we are, we spent the first few days hunting and getting a load of money and uh, then we went to stock up on Belladonna um, just behind the inn over there in that field. Yesterday, or no, it was this morning, wasn't it? We learned to read and now we can go off and work on our alchemy skills. Now, I need to get some Belladonna first and I know that uh, there's a lot of Belladonna there, a huge field of it, so I'm going to head off to there. So when we start cranking our alchemy, there's a, a bit of a grind in that we're just going to have to keep making potions until we get to the magic number of 10, at which point we can start auto-brewing potions. We don't have to go through all the individual steps. Now the thing about um, Savior Schnapps, we've got enough Belladonna, we've got the nettles. We could make Savior Schnapps, which is more valuable than the marigold potion. But the trouble with Savior Schnapps is it takes a lot more steps to cook than the marigold potion. Marigold potion is uh, takes about half the effort to make. And seeing as we've got to make a whole bunch of them, um, the grind is faster if we do it with marigold potions. So we're going to do... We're going to get a bunch of marigold and do it that way. So I'll be back when I've got um, lots of marigold. Okay, so just coming up on our last pickup, this should be plenty, uh, plenty enough now. Let's just check how many we've got. Uh, 215, that's enough. Okay, so now we need to head off to Ratai. Maybe we have to do it in steps. Let's forward to there. Okay. All right, let's see if we get stopped by bandits. That's Ledechko that we're just moving through there. We could have done the chump challenge there, but we went hunting instead. Okay, so no bandits. All right, so let's just go into the mill and access our chest because we're going to need nettles. The marigold potions are two marigold and one nettle. So let's see, it's under other, isn't it? I've got about 200, so I need about 100 nettles. It'll be more than enough. Okay, that's fine. All right, so now we need to get up to Ratai and start cranking on our potions. Now, the trouble is we haven't discovered Ratai yet because there's a fast forward point here, so we have to run up there. So I'll see you when we get there. It's in this direction. So this is the fast travel point for this side of Ratai now, so that we've just discovered it. So if we come here again, we can just fast travel to this gate. So we just got to through, go through a quick speech check here. A guard stops us and we tell him we're, we're there to see somebody. Halt! Who are I'm Henry. Of course you are. I may not look the part. All right then, go ahead. All right, so to get to where we're going to be making the potions, we need to come in here, hang the left, the first corner, and go to the building at the end on the left. And the first thing we're going to want to do is actually buy the recipe for the marigold, marigold concoction. But also get training, because he's a trainer. The training doesn't put us up a level, it just gives us a certain number of points. There's no advantage in waiting to get to we're at level four, for example, and then doing it, hoping to get to level five, because it doesn't work that way. The first thing is training. Would you teach me Let's more get about that out of the way. Certainly. So I'm not going to bother with the um, All right, but it'll negotiation. Now, pay close attention. OK, so that put us up to level one. All right. Um, so next thing we need to do is buy the Maracold concoction. So he's got the recipes at the bottom down here, so the one we want is here. Done. So thanks, thanks. Again, I'm not gonna 
bother negotiating. So we have to actually read that now. Other okay, E for read. Done. And if we want to brew potions, uh, we come around here. There's a bunch of nettles. These always spawn here as well. If we needed more, but we don't. So you go in this door, and this is where we can start cooking. So, start alchemy. Now, it gives us the Savior Schnapps recipe um, free. So we don't have to buy that one, but we just bought um, this one. So this one takes about twice as many steps to make as this one. Now, the Savior Schnapps, it's, um, you can use it more in, well, and in, there are more occasions when you get to use it, and it's also worth a lot more. But the trouble is, given that we've got a long grind ahead to get our alchemy levels up, then um, it's probably much easier to do this one. So anyway, let's get started. So we know we're at level one, so I'll just count the number of potions it takes to get to each level. So as far as uh, what we need to do, we need to use water. Um, we need one nettle. So we boil the nettle, leave it to cool, drop in two marigold, and we're done. It's much faster than the Savior Schnapps. So, first step is water. And it's just learning the key sequences here. So, then it's just one nettle. So, E on nettle. So, E to drop it in. Bellows is Q which starts the fire. F is the sand glass, which turns it over. Wait for it to cool. Okay, we're good. Now drop in two marigold, so one. And two. So to complete, we pick up this file here, press and hold E on the cauldron, and bingo, that's our first potion. So you have made a marigold potion. All right, so now it's just rinse and repeat. We just do that over and over again to go up the levels. And as soon as we hit level five, we can go for another training. And uh, we just keep going until we hit level 10. So what I'll do is I'll just keep cranking these potions out and I'll just let you know how many it takes to get up to each level. So we know we're level one right now. So um, I'm expecting the next one will get us to level two, but I'll let you know. And then I'll count how many it takes to get up to each level from here. And I'll see you um, presumably uh, at the end. Okay, just pausing there because um, we've got between seven and eight. So I just reached level five. Now we bought the first level of alchemy. Just looking at skills here. It took two, um, we had to make two potions to get to level two. We had to make three more potions to get to level three. We had to make four potions to get to level four. And we had to make another four potions to get to level five. So that was the pattern so far. So at level 5 we can buy one more training, which we'll do before he closes. God be with you. Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Alright, but it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. Okay, so that bumped us up to level 6, which is uh, nice. Yeah, that gives a full level. Because <clears throat> if we did that at level 9, it would not have bumped us up to level 10. It only gets us uh, part of the way. I think it's just the number of points that it gives us, not the level up. Alright, let's get to it, and I'll let you know how many potions it takes to get to each level from here on. Just pausing the action here because we've just got to level 9. Now the way it worked was that uh, we were at level 5 and we uh, bought a training which got us to level 6. We had to make 6 more potions to get from 6 to 7, 6 more potions to get from 7 to 8, and 7 more potions to get from 8 to 9. 
and we've just reached level nine. Now, one thing I forgot was that uh, we haven't used any of our perk point points yet. Now, one thing I forgot was that he sells a um, a book, The Alchemist's Dream, which is a uh, skill book. So given that the time is, um, yeah, it's pretty much during the night, I'm going to go back, get some sleep, and then I'll, I'll read that book in the morning. Okay, so we're fed. Uh, let's sit down. And let's read the skill book. How long is it going to take? So six hours, let's do it. Okay, so that improved our alchemy and we also reached a new level. So that puts us at 10, right? So the player... No, we did not reach a new level in alchemy. It only put us this far. It only gave us this... Because we were here when we started reading the book. So we didn't get much out of that at all. Oh, well. All right, back to the ground. I'll see you when we get up there. We can eat a bit more here. Right back to the ground i'll let you know how many potions it takes to get to level 10 from here and we just made it to level 10 finally and just to recap the experience there um it took us 13 we had to brew 13 potions to get to level five then we bought um from five to six then it was six potions to get to level seven another six potions to get to level eight seven potions to get to level nine then we read the skill book uh, but it still took another seven potions to get to level 10 where we are now at so I haven't spent any perk points in it yet, so if we now look at the skills, go to alchemy. The one we really want is routine one down here, because we can now auto brew potions that have been brewed once before, so we don't have to go through all of the um, cooking steps to make them. So that's by far the most valuable one. We've got three other perk points, um, but really it's just routine one and routine two. You get this one at level 13, and then at this point you start making three potions uh, for the price of one um, when you do auto brews and the rest you can look at but um, yeah when you successfully brew a potion you get one extra but doesn't apply to auto brew well we're only going to make potions once um, so we would only get one extra potion at that time then after that we would be doing auto brew anyway so I can't really see that's worth it potions you brew 20% higher selling price well given that we can make 20,000 a day or more hunting. Um, I don't think making money with potions is really a worthwhile um, use of time. Venomous, Venomous Blade, so this is where it starts to get into um, your combat and what you choose to do because that can make a difference um, depending on um, what venom you apply of course and um, how and who you use it with. Trial and error um can't see the value of that given that we're only going to be making potions one time and then it's on to auto brew so potions are for you up to maybe some value there healing potions yeah maybe some value there cured or cooked food uh spoil 20 percent more slowly maybe some value there too but yeah it's the the really valuable ones are routine one routine two and the rest are um yeah debatable okay so that's it um so now we can go back and so that was a total of 39 potions that we had to brew 
as well as buying two levels and reading the skill books. So, for example, uh, one of those po 39 potions was a savior schnapps along the way. And we can auto brew it. So I just hold, press hold F and there's our savior schnapps and we can repeat that over and over with every potion that we've made before. So as far as getting to level 13, we would just be auto brewing uh, quite a lot of pro potions once we have the ingredients and um, then we could start making three for one. But really it's the level 10, which is the most valuable, uh, most valuable part because then we only have to go through the cooking process once for each potion. So anyway, I hope that was um, useful, helpful, and um, look forward to seeing you next time, and I'll uh, think about what to do in the next episode. Okay, thanks, bye.